recovering Lord Sullen's xylophone certainly sounds like a charming ruckus. Don't get me wrong, but I'm looking for a quest to be remembered by. One final adventure for future generations to share. Surely, my dear friend, you can relate to that. Oh, hello, Gwendolyn. Come on in. Um, where did your friend go? Why, he's right behind you, keeping warm by the fire. There's no one there. Not to worry. He'll be back. Always bouncing in and out, that one. Like a slingshot. Grandpa, we need to talk. Of course, sweetheart. What'll it be? Dragons, treasure, love stories. We need to talk about this. I see. Come here. I am so sorry. I should have told you when I had the chance. I'm just not ready for you to go. Listen to me. I am not leaving you. Not yet. The mirror promised me one final adventure. But the doctors, they said... Has the magic mirror led us astray before? I'll be here for one more adventure, no matter what any doctor says. So, where is this adventure taking place? I haven't decided yet, but it's going to be grand. One for the tapestries of time. I was thinking, Serenia, or a family trip back to Avalon. Grandpa, you can't even get out of bed. Oh, I can get out of bed all right, just saving up my strength. I need to know why. Why? I thought it would be nice to have an adventure outside these walls with the whole family. No, not that. I need to know why the doctors can't fix you. There has to be a magical fruit that can cure you, or a spell to extend your life. I just can't believe that you're only suffering from old age. Take a seat. There are a few more stories I have yet to share. For as long as I can remember, adventure always had a way of finding me. But as I grew older, I had to find adventure for myself. Sweetheart, are you sure you need to go out questing for trouble at our ripe old age? Darling, this old hat may be tattered, but it's not ready to be hung up yet. I know. I know, as long as you're living, you'll be working to make Daventry perfect. But what's the point of working so hard if we never can enjoy it? We still haven't watched a single sunset from the Rose Garden. But there's still so much to do, love. I need to stay sharp. I just don't want my legacy to fizzle out like King Edward's. Do what you like. I know I won't be able to convince you otherwise. I probably should have stayed back and watched that sunset, but I had adventure on my mind. Perhaps there was another lost treasure to recover, or a unicorn to be rescued. Oh, if I was lucky, a hideous beast would be terrorizing the kingdom. You deserve a chance to celebrate your accomplishments. The 
The town was always a good place to start an adventure. Perhaps I should start there. Wait, aren't you forgetting... Huh? What was that? Oh, never mind. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Amaya and I cleared out all the spiniferous thorn weeds in the backwoods and planted a lovely rose garden instead. Wait, what happened to the snarling snarlaxes? With purple eyes, blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. <laughs> they had to be crumbled, ruined the castle's curb appeal. Does he keep disappearing to? I'm getting tired of opening that door for him. He'd better come soon. I'm starting to question his commitment to our guild. He probably knows we don't have the croissant. As long as he knows the password, you have to let him in. Years ago, if my memory serves me correctly, we redesigned that old meeting space into a... a memorial honoring Pilar and Mr. Watts. Pilar transferred to Ludor in the summer of 1679, and she was annoyed to find out there was, in fact, no bridge troll guild in existence there. Hungry and poor, she discovered a new cause to rally behind. She founded the first charity whose mission was to feed the trolls. Waddles retired when I took the throne. He stayed local, though, and created most of the art and tapestries that you see on the castle walls. He finally became the drawbridge that he always dreamed of. 